This week, we started working on a new office slash gaming setup, and the first device in it is the one we're taking a look at today, and that is the Stream Deck by Elgato. Elgato. <laughs> Welcome to Came From A Box, I'm Sergio AM, and as I said, we're putting together a small office setup, which will be in the bedroom for work, as well as streaming games on Twitch. We're gonna do a video on all that soon, so subscribe and turn on notifications with that tiny little bell if you wanna stay in the loop. But before that, we're first going to cover some of the tech that we're going to include in it, starting with the Stream Deck, which Elgato was kind enough to send out for these videos. So here it is, the Stream Deck. Evolve your content. Then you can see the device below with those really nice buttons. Elgato at the bottom. On the side, they mention features and what's in the box. On the back, pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, customization on your terms, studio power at your fingertips, compatible with your preferences, adjustable stand, and under that we have specs, and it's both Windows and Mac compatible. Let's get in there. So the Stream Deck was released last year and became very popular among the gaming community, especially streamers. To keep it short, it's pretty much a macro pad with customizable OLED buttons. Sounds simple enough, but the possibilities are pretty much endless. All right, so at the top, we have a very nice and detailed quick start guide. Under here, you'll find some safety instructions in a ton of languages. Now, attached to the Stream Deck, we get a plastic stand with multiple viewing angles. And of course, the Stream Deck itself, and it's made up of 15 very glossy OLED buttons laid out 3x5. It slides right onto the stand so you can adjust it to whatever angle works best and gives you the least amount of reflections. The buttons themselves are very soft and squishy, almost like using a membrane keyboard. It, it barely takes any pressure to actuate them, which is good because this way it won't move across your desk. So to set it up, you first have to install the Stream Deck software from their site in order to customize it. So this is the interface. Uh, on the right, we have a ton of options and this list keeps growing with updates. We have basic system macros for websites, hotkeys, open software, and multimedia. Stream Deck options include uh, folders, profiles, and brightness. Then we have a ton of support for software like OBS, Mixer, as well as Twitch, Twitter, and more. All right, so let me play around and figure all of this out and I'll fast forward through it. All right, so I'm back and I now know everything about this. Uh, here we have a wallpaper setup. Each of these keys is set to change profile and we simply switch the icon to our own. If you're wondering how, Elgato also offers a key creator so you can make your own custom keys. It's very simple yet it has a lot of options. You can use pre-made graphics at the bottom, add text, and import your own images. Everything is added to layers with basic transformation options. Now, if you want an image that spans across all the keys, they have a wallpaper option at the top so you can place an image and split it into individual keys. When you're done, you click save and you'll get PNGs. All right, so back to the Stream Deck. You can set up multiple profiles and then you can use something like the Change Profile button to change between them. Here, the next one is My Work Profile. This has shortcuts to the software I use the most and at the bottom left, I put another Change Profile button and to the right, just to show you how they work, we have a folder. Inside, you can place any other shortcuts in there and then if you wanna go back, you simply press the Back button on the top left here. And yes, you can put folders within folders within folders within folders and you know where I'm going with it. Now let's try After Effects. You'll see that as soon as it launches, the Stream Deck automatically changed the profile to the one I set, which is After Effects. Very nice feature. At the top, I have four macros using custom made icons I put together in Photoshop, and I turned the extra keys into an After Effects wallpaper just so it, you know, so it looks pretty. This button on the bottom left is again, a change profile button. I do this so I don't have to go into the software to switch profiles. Now for streaming, I created a setup where we have macros that are in order of how I set up my stream. First, I start with OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Uh, then I launch my Twitch dashboard. Next, I post updates to all my social media channels via Buffer. And if I want, I can launch Discord when I'm playing with friends. 
Finally, at the bottom, I have two buttons for my main scenes that I can press to switch to, and then I have a go live button to start it all up. And that's about it. So that's a quick look at the Stream Deck by Elgato. As you can tell, there's a lot you can do with it and that list keeps growing because they continue to update it based on community feedback. That is awesome. And as I said, the Stream Deck is the first in the list of devices we'll be using for the upstairs streaming setup. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of it because it simplifies streaming and I can also use it for things like work. So uh, let me know what you think of it along with any ideas of how you'd like to see it used for streaming or anything else. Uh, I know a soundboard is the next thing we're going to try here, so we'll touch back on that later. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'm Sergio AM, and as always, we'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.